I've been waiting for a product like the one we are going to look at today for a really long while, guys. It's the world's fastest SD card, and I'm working with SD cards all the time because I'm making videos like this for you guys. I've been making reviews for a couple of years now. And by the way, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already, so you can see my uh, future reviews. Uh, this is the world's fastest. It's from ADATA. It's the SD7.0 Express card. It's a 512 capacity, 512 gigabytes capacity SD card that supports read speeds of up to 800 megabytes per second and write speeds of up to 700 megabytes per second. We are going to test it out today and it's going to be a funny test because I'll tell you about that in a moment. So this new uh, standard basically allows SD cards to reach speeds we haven't seen before. These are speeds that you used to get from SSD drives connected to SATA interfaces. So now you're going to get that off an SD card because it now uses NVMe um, to be actually NVMe inf interface to get that high speed. So we are still waiting for a card reader for this. But the good news is I already unboxed this. I can actually test this out for you guys. I don't have an SD7 supporting card reader, but I do have the option to test it on my fast SD card reader as this card supports backwards compatibility with UHS-1 SD card standard. That means that I can test out the card anyway and just see if it actually reaches the speed you would expect from a UHS-1 um, class card. That means we are looking at 100 megabytes per second. That's what I would want to see from a card that supports this uh, interface. As you can see, that is the card itself. I actually have my older card over here, lower capacity. This is a one, 128 gigabytes. And I'm going to put links in the video description for everything you see on this video. And the new ADATA SD card, as you can see, is a 512. The interface is different. As you can see, there are more line, con there are more connections on the card itself, there are two lines instead of one, but I actually saw uh, faster cards that are still using UHS-3 that has this interface. So in terms of how they look, they look the same. They are basically going to use the same adapters um, to get your files. So what one of the things I'm going to do right now is actually get this running and I'm going to connect this to my computer. As you can see on the top video right now, I just inserted it to this amazing SD card reader. If you need an SD card reader, just use this one. I'm going to put links for it in the, in the video description down below. I love it. So let's just look at the screen right now. Just do some tests. That's my uh, um, 10 gigabyte video file test, which I already did. I'm going to do a different test with you guys. Before I do that, I will uh, actually check with Crystal Disk Mark the speed that I'm going to get with this new SD card. So we're going to see Crystal Disk Mark in a moment and then do a 128 megabytes um, file write test. We're going to write to this drive, which as you can see is labeled as K, and it's the, it's this specific drive that's actually, uh, we get 471 gigabytes of usable space on it, and we are going to run the sec1m test right now. So let's just do it and see what speeds we get. Like I mentioned before, we are wanting to get around 100 megabytes per second. That's the speed we would expect from a fast card like this uh, in a UHS-1 uh, environment. So you can see right now we already got read speeds of 8788. That's great. That's really close to 100. Good enough for me. And because you have a lot of capacity, you could easily just transfer 4K videos, for example, uh, at really fast speeds. Not the fastest, obviously, because you can get to uh, 170 megabytes per second or even around 300 megabytes per second with the UHS Class 3. So you're going to get less than that, but you're still going to get fast speeds. And we also got write speeds of 87 0.6 megabytes. So we're getting good speeds over here with file transfers. And one of the things I'm going to do right now, I'm going to move a four gigabyte file into the drive just to see my uh, read write operations uh, just by using Windows. So we have a four gigabyte file over here. We can see that even here we get high speeds of above 880 uh, megabytes per second. Again, this is UHS-1 class speeds. 
Um, this means that we can transfer a 4 gigabyte file in around one minute. So for somebody like me who deals with 20 gigabytes per day, 25 gigabytes per day in terms of video files, this is going to be around uh, like five, six minutes every time I want to edit a video, I will have to wait to get my files onto the drive. So obviously it's not the fastest, but it's still very fast. And when we are going to get um, these card readers for SD7, you're going to have the best speed you could possibly imagine with higher capacity on it, 512 gigabytes. That's just amazing. So as you can see, it kept going for 80 megabytes uh, per second all, all the way. So it's amazing. It works well. Adata really surprised me with this. I mean, it's uh, this is the future of, uh, of uh, file storage on your uh, camera, guys. It's amazing. And I think it's interesting because it solves one of my biggest problems. I used to wait. Uh, I'm, I'm still waiting because I don't have the card reader, but I'm waiting like 20 minutes sometimes, half an hour sometimes, 10 minutes at the minimum when I'm moving files from my camera to my computer. And with this, I'm going to be able to do that in a minute or maybe less. If you are watching me for the first time, by the way, subscribe so you can see my future gadget reviews. That's all I do here on Rotor Deal. I review gadgets and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, press the like button. If you want to have ask me some questions about the car, just Go to the comments down below. I'll be available to answer all of your uh, questions. I'm going to put two video recommendations, recommendations over here for you to watch. Another one over here and the option to subscribe over here if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much. I'll see you in my future gadget reviews. I was Rotodil. Bye-bye.